Okay, so the NBA free agency frenzy is done now, right? It's been finished for a while. Yeah, yeah, it's over now. So welcome to the video today, guys. My name is Brandon, and I thought it'd be fun with NBA free agency basically over with to break down the Phoenix Suns' most notable and best free agents. And the Phoenix Suns' best free agent signings, this video isn't really in a list. It's not in a particular order. These are just some of the best recognizable and most notable players that I came up with, and it's my list, so I hope you guys will enjoy the video. That's right, so kicking it all off is the first unrestricted free agent in NBA history. That's right, it is Tom Chambers. Tom Chambers was signed by the Phoenix Suns on July 8th, 1988, and played five seasons with the Phoenix Suns, was a four-time All-Star, three with the Phoenix Suns, and was the 1987 All-Star Game MVP where he had 34 points. I've had the chance to meet Tom Chambers plenty of times. He is such a cool guy. And yeah, he kicks off this list for this video. And next up on the list is the two-time MVP, the eight-time All-Star, over 10,000 assists. Yeah, it is Steve Nash. Right, I don't even need to tell you guys what Steve Nash did for Phoenix Suns basketball and what he meant for Phoenix Suns basketball. The latest member in the Ring of Honor, future Hall of Famer, Steve Nash, is next up on the list, had two different stints with the Phoenix Suns, and they were some incredible years. And I know that it's easy now with social media and all the video access, but I was actually lucky enough to see Steve Nash play live in person a couple of different times and witness Steve Nash play for the Phoenix Suns for many, many years, and it was incredible. Okay, do you guys remember Wayman Tisdale? Yeah, I remember Wayman Tisdale. That is right. He is next up on the list. And Wayman Tisdale played 12 seasons in the NBA and averaged 15 points a game and six rebounds. Played a few good seasons with the Phoenix Suns, but scored a chunk load of points and had some great years with the Sacramento Kings. And that is why he is on this list. Unfortunately, Wayman Tisdale is not with us anymore, but Wayman Tisdale was a great person. A lot of people spoke very highly of Wayman Tisdale, so that he always had a smile on his face. He was also a fantastic musician. There's a lot on Google about the late, great Wayman Tisdale, and that is right. That is why he makes this list. Rest in peace. And next up on the list is a player who played right behind Steve Nash. That is right, Goran Dragic. Guys, I don't care if he left controversially. I absolutely loved Goran the Dragon Dragic when he played with Phoenix. He also had a couple of stints with the Phoenix Suns, bounced around in the league, bounced around in Europe. But Goran Dragic had some of his best years in Phoenix, and that is why he is a multi-year contract player now, currently playing for the Miami Heat. And that is why he's considered one of the best point guards in the NBA Goran Dragic scored a lot of points and a lot of assists with the Phoenix Suns and had a few seasons where he was all-star worthy. He never got the all-star nod, but he was definitely all-star worthy. I absolutely loved Goran Dragic. So let's talk about a player who is actually still on the Phoenix Suns roster. That's right. Next up on the list is P.J. Tucker. P.J. Tucker has spent basically his entire career here in Phoenix. He was originally selected by the Toronto Raptors, but I think he only played 17 games before bouncing around in Europe. But he has spent some great seasons with the Phoenix Suns. He is an absolute fan favorite with the Phoenix Suns. He always guards the opposing team's best player. His statistics may not be the best, but P.J. Tucker always hustles, always gets his numbers, and is always showing effort. And that is why he is on this list. He is one of the best players on the Phoenix Suns team. I absolutely love P.J. Tucker. And yes, I do have a whole bunch of honorable mentions, so let's dive into the honorable mentions for the Phoenix Suns best free agent signings. Cliff Robinson, who played four years with the Phoenix Suns, averaged 16 points per game. One of my favorites, Quinton Richardson, only played one year with the Phoenix Suns, but was a fan favorite and definitely stood out. I absolutely loved Quinton Richardson when he played with the Phoenix Suns. How about Roger Bell, who played about four seasons with the Phoenix Suns? Definitely one of the best defenders in Phoenix Suns history. Channing Frye, who spent a chunk load of time with the Phoenix Suns. A Phoenix native, Channing Frye, went to St. Mary's High School, University of Arizona, 
Spent a lot of years with the Phoenix Suns. And I know for a fact there's a bunch of players that I'm missing. That is where you guys come in. Please leave me your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Who did I miss in this video? Are there players that I didn't mention who are your favorites? Please leave me your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below about the Phoenix Suns' best free agent signings in Phoenix Suns history. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Brandon. Please subscribe to this channel for future NBA videos and for future Phoenix Suns videos. Please subscribe to this channel. Please like the video if you like the video. It really helps me out. And please drop a comment down below. My name is Brandon. I'm a huge basketball fan. And I'll see you guys next time.